Namaskar. Hello and welcome to Kri Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. Monday mornings 10 o'clock are Delhi, our Rajagopalan times. And he is here. He's not disappointing us. He's here. We are going to have a fair amount of scoops. In fact, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at our title. You will be amazed to know some amazing things. A lot of churn happening in various parties. We'll know all about that. Let's welcome Delhi, our Rajagopalan. Rajagopalan, sir. Namaskaram. Ram Ram. How are you, sir? Namaskaram, 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 sir. I'm fine, sir. Sir, fine. we always start with a shloka from you, sir. So we are waiting. What are you going to surprise us today with, sir? This time, I intend to have two. One is from Sanskrit, another is from Tamil. Because the BJP has started to focus on Tamil, and Tamils have forgotten Tamils. So we have to remain the Tamilians. Sir, the slokas of 300,000, 4,000 year old slokas are being dumped and they are putting a Dravidian tag to that. So we have to remind the young generation that several hundred years ago, the Tamil was ruling the roost in Tamil Nadu, not because of DMK or Dravidakaran. So Ramaya, Ramabhadraya, Ramachandraya, Vedase, Rahu Nathaya, Nathaya, Shritaya, Apathe Namaha. Yetra Yetra Raguna, the Kirtanam, Tatarat, the Gimastaganchalim, Bashpavari, Paripur Nalochanam, Marutin, Namarakshantakam, Vasudeva, Sodam Devam, Kamcha Chanura Madanam, in like that, you know, it goes in several, several things. And I would not be failing our viewers to chant Ugram, Viram, Mahavishnam, like that, you know, that also one part. Now I come to the concentrated sloka of Andal, Tirupavai. Manga Kadal Kadal in the Madhavanai Keshavanai Tinkal Tirumahat Cheyar Sendiranji Yanga Parehunda Trayani Badi Vaipai Gamalar Pandaril Patatari Ankolish on the like that you know it goes. This song was composed by Andal thousands of years ago. But you know Tamils have forgotten this and the new revolutionary songs of a chaka chaka paka paka like that that started to dominate the Indian the Tamil scene. So Sri Ayer and Raju Gopal have decided from next time onwards one Tamil sloka and one Sanskrit sloka. Now we start. Perfect, this. sir. Perfect, sir. Perfect, sir. Thank you, sir. And now let us take a teaser and look at 13 topics that we are going to be talking about today. It's going to be rapid fire. Go for it. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs>
Thank you, sir. And now let's jump right in. Go ahead and start the slide deck, please. Yeah. Now, now before the slide deck is introduced, I would like to tell our viewers that she, I, here, and uh, me spend at least three days: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Turn out the you know important topics. We select some 40, 50, and filter it, which is important, which will attract our viewers. Like that, we do some task much before the airing of our you know teasers. So therefore, this time, very effectively, we chosen all regions, all parts of India, like that. But first, the election manifesto, which is you know, I want to tell one scoop for our viewers. Sir. Let the teaser be put on. Yes. Modi manifesto magic. Senior citizens above 70 years, including me, transgenders to get free treatment up to 5 lakhs. Modi to encourage solar power, electric vehicles to reduce petrol and diesel usage. Sir, the scoop number one is much before the election manifesto was drafted, three top leaders of uh, RSS has spent time with Mr. Narendra Modi and also Mr. Rajana Singh, Nirmala Sitaraman and others before drafting the manifesto. The reason being, I tell you, sir, petrol for the last two, three years, the dominance have come down slowly. And now Mr. Narendra Modi and the RSS want to extrapolate it for next 25 years. That is why the electric vehicles, if you remember Nitin Gadgari, the RSS blue-eyed boy used to say about the ethanol usage. From sugar cane, you draw that from rice, uh, you know, that uh, paddy, you can also get like that. So ethanol introduction. Now, the way in which Mr. Narendra Modi give importance to solar power, any household person can invest 7,000 rupees, get a set up box type of thing to get the electricity. That is being now one crore 75 lakhs people have already registered with the Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy for the solar power. Now the BHEL or some other company will be given the task. Narendra Modi after he returns to power third time is he going to introduce two important things sir. Electric vehicle. Before electric vehicle started at least uh, uh, next week, Mr. Uh, Telsa Chief Mask is going to meet Mr. Narendra Modi. This, though it may be for international projections, but internally, for the last two years, the electric two wheelers have become very popular in India, sir. Similarly, auto rickshaw, Murugappa Group, they made a very nice auto rickshaw of electric, uh, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Bengaluru. They are going to introduce in next two years North India. The Hero Honda City uh, and moreover the Suzuki and uh, Honda, they are little backward of uh, production of this because of Japanese new technology is coming in electric vehicles. Things are very fast moving. Dependence on petrol will be reduced in the next 25 years. That is RSS plan, sir. Many Very would good. not know why, why Mr. Narendra Modi is focusing on solar. Because hydroelectricity, electricity part of nuclear things, and now why can't you use bait of uh, you know solar energy easier? You can now, Mr. Modi has given an in incentive. If you sell the, uh, you know, if you install a bigger type of generators at your rooftop, you can sell the electricity to the state electricity board. The new act is coming. The regulatory act is also being drafted at the highest level. After June 2024, these two are going to be the major area of operation for Mr. Narendra Modi, sir. Reduce petrol concentration, reduce effective electricity. Use it for uh, electric vehicles. In most of the malls in Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta, Chennai, Bangalore, they have started to allocate certain space in the parking area of eight plugs where you can uh, you know, charge your electric vehicle. Pollution free. That by the achievement of 2030, when Mr. Narendra Modi said we will achieve the uh, pollution free India, he will be achieving. So these are all certain projections which Mr. Uh, Mohan Bhagwat team suggested to BJP and they included it. Sir, this is the secret of it. None know about it, sir, except uh, P Guru viewers. Very good, sir. Uh, let's go to the next one, please. 
up in turmoil. Sir, tell us a little bit what's happening. In another half an hour's time, Supreme Court is going to hear the petition by Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. May 25th, the election in Delhi. Before that, he was to come. And incidentally, the uh, Punjab Chief Minister is meeting uh, Amadmi Party leader uh, Arvind Kejriwal in Tihar jail. The jail authorities refused permission because they said we have to get court's permission. It's not going to be a one-to-one -one meeting. It is only a, via video conferencing. Though he may be reaching Tihar from one end to another, because they will be speaking something of politics. The Delhi jail authorities want to record the conversation. They don't want to leave one to one because they may speak some different things. That is the reason. Arm Army Party roiled in rival accusations and internal murmurs with just days before by polls. Three prime movers of Indi bloc are in turmoil. Are not only that, up. The Rajya Sabha MPs are not at all active, sir. Raghu Chadda is in a great crisis. He is in London. He never comes to India. Similarly, other leaders are also in foreign country. N.D. Gupta, the treasurer of uh, Ahmadmi Party, who is a very, very close confidant of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, now have fallen out. So there are indications in New Delhi that three Ahmadmi Party Rajya Sabha MPs, MPs may resign and uh, be neutral or join BJP, sir. Three. Sir, uh, is there one name what? with the last name Singh? Yes, 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 yes. Is the first Anna. initial uh, Hanuman Anna, another, H? Uh, another name is, uh, uh, starts with uh, R, ends with A. Okay, it, I know who that is. Uh, he married a Sini actress sister also very recently. Sir, 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 sir. Beta, sir, beta, sir, beta, sir, beta, sir. Tumba helibitri nivo. Tumba helibitri. You have said too much. Sorry. Because of age, even at the age of 70, when Mr. Narendra Modi gives me health plans, I get more enthusiasm. Next one, please. A, B, C, D of Modi to decimate indie block. This a is for up. <laughs> Go for it, sir. No, this is very interesting, sir. In 2012, Mr. Arun Jaitley and uh, you know me and a few others were seated with Mr. Narendra Modi, who was a prime ministerial candidate. He said ABCD. Mr. Narendra Modi is known for this, you know, new acronyms and uh, expansions like that. He said ABCD. Pandaji, kya hai? He asked me. He calls me Pandaji. Pandaji, kya hai ABCD? A for Adash, B for Bofors, C for Coles Camp, D for Dow. That you know, they were asked that the Bengaluru spike is uh, space. Is, uh, these are all scams. He mentioned it in a public meeting also. Now the new ABCD is to eliminate India, the uh, India Alliance, India dot 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 alliance. He somehow yet effectively demolished the India Alliance sir, much before it was born. It's a stillborn child. June 2023, it started. They evolved a formula of India Alliance. Nitish Kumar is in Mr. Narendra Modi's uh, camp. Sharad Pawar's party is split. Udo Thakre party is split. Now, the real factor of ABCD of Narendra Modi 2024 is to ensure anarchist Arvind Kejriwal is out. B for BRS, that is Bharatiya Rashtriya Samiti KCR's party. C for Congress, three Gandhi's Congress. D for DMK. These are four going to be the top priority after Mr. Narendra Modi returns to power in 2024. Mr. Iyer. We go to another side. Very good, sir. Next slide, please. Alarming Intel alert. Four foreign powers pour funds into four private universities to stop BJP hard tech. How can we stop BJP, sir? the research team are coming after Mr. Amit Shah tracking the FCRA Foreign Contributory Regulation Act. Now these universities are getting more powers. More foreign powers are pouring money in the name of uh, exchange of uh, educational visits. I know for obvious reasons. I don't want to reveal it. 16 Chinese students have been parked in one particular university near to Delisa. A private university. 
It starts with the letter A and ends with the letter A. Ayo, A I O A I O B. I have that. Yes, that starts that. So therefore, that university is parking them. Similarly, another university in West Bengal has got eighteen to twenty Canadian students in the name of intelligence, uh, you know, agents are being deployed. To ensure that Narendra Modi is stop doing this hat trick, so this international conspiracy, maybe George Soros funding, maybe China, maybe Canada, maybe Sri Lanka, maybe Pakistan. So Indian intelligence agencies are very, very, very clear on that aspect, sir. So we have to wait and watch how this is going to develop and pan out, sir. Let us, uh, uh, you know, be alert on that. Next one, please. Priyanka is upset with Robert. A Vadra twist in Congress's Amethi story. I thought it was a Vagra googly, sir. No, sir. I don't think so, sir. They, they not even googly. The reports in New Delhi highest this uh, what is it called in Palace Secrets? What do they say, sir? In UK and USA, Palace Secret. Aranmane Ragasyam. Oh, Palace Secrets. Right, right, right. right. Uh, so, so White House secret, here 10 10 per secret in India. So there are many White House secrets about Biden and Trump. But here in India, the gossip is that uh, Priyanka Gandhi and Robert Wadra have some differences of opinion on Robert Wadra coming into the actual poll campaign. Now he wants to become a con contestant candidate. Not, uh, acceptable to Priyanka Gandhi. That does not mean that Rahul Gandhi is reduced to zero or Priyanka Gandhi is reduced to zero and only Robert Wadra can pick and take it up. On the top of it, there is a tug of war between the family members of three Gandhis. Wadra may contest, he fought, he was wanting to fight from Mozodabad, the nearer to New Delhi, the seat where his uh, forefathers have been, you know, residing like that. That seat was not given. Now he is fighting. Mallikarjun Kargi telephoned to Mr. Robert Wadra and said, don't do this type of nuisance. Priyanka is very upset. Why should Mallikarjun Kargi come into the picture, sir? So therefore, is Robert Wadra pitching for a, a nomination in party's prestigious, prestigious seat, Amethi. We have to wait and watch. And in between, scoop, mini scoop, larger scoop, major scoop. Now another mini scoop connected with the story. There is a flag fiasco in Rahul Gandhi's uh, Vayanadu trip, sir. Yesterday and today, Mr. Rahul Gandhi is in Vayanadu. Do you know? Congress flags are not used in that. Hmm. Freedom fighters are, you know, fought for India's freedom fighters under Gandhi, under Congress leadership and Congress flag. Now, Rahul Gandhi said, we won't go use any flag. Because that IUML flag will also be flying. To stop that, communist parties are now woken up. D. Raja's wife, Ani Raja, is now raising it in a public meeting. Why Congress flags are disappearing from Rahul Gandhi's uh, uh, you know, uh, rallies. But in point. So, Robert Wadra and the Indian Knowledge National Congress, if you find, uh, combine together, you can see the mental destabilization of Gandhi's. Next one, please. Modi aggression. Will it end up with decimation of Mayawati's BSP and eight regional parties, including CPI and CPM after 2024? Why is the CPM in danger, sir? CPM is in danger because in Kerala, if Congress comes to power, sorry, it gets some 18 to 20 Lok Sabha seats. It will end up with uh, Prakash Karat saying, Hell with you, Mr. Sita Ramachuri. Get out. Let us fight. Because CPM will be in existential crisis. Once Congress wins more seats in Karna, uh, Kerala. That is the internal survey by CPM. And CPM is facing a crisis because if the vote percentage go, drops below 4% at the all India level, then they will not be a national party in 2029 Lok Sabha polls, sir. 
So it, it goes beyond five years. Similarly, CPI, which touched the 3.8 uh, percentage of 2019 poll campaigns, now it has been reduced to zero. Like, you know, for example, MDMK in Tamil Nadu, BSP in North India. And, you know, even Akhilesh the party will also be facing immense trouble because in 2029, if they didn't get the uh, proper vote percentage as per the law established by the election commission, they may be facing a threat of symbol being de-recognized. So CPM symbol, CPI symbol are all in problem. Now, for uh, breaking story is that Vidhanalai Sirithi Kachigal of uh, Thirma Malavan in Tamil Nadu is also facing crisis, internal crisis, if they don't get the vote. That is why he has spread it to all something in six days, they are going to fight it to get the vote percentage more. So Modi's aggression is after 2024, like petrol and solar energy, he is going to concentrate on political aspects to ensure that eight regional parties are de recognized. Next one, please. Can PM Modi's persistent push in Tamil Nadu challenge the dominance of Dravidian parties? DMK and ADMK's alliance reflects a strategic move to counter BJP influence in TN. Sir? Yes. yes. As we speak, Mr. Narendra Modi is in Tirunelveli to uh, you know, campaign for Nainar Nagendra. Now, the DMK and ADMK have a secret understanding, tacit, tacit understanding to ensure that BJP's vote percentage does not increase. For example, A.C. Shanmugam, who fought in two leaf symbol in 2019, Vellu constituency, and Dori Murugan's son lost by 7,842 votes, he is now facing a defeat, Dori Murugan's son. Now, A.C. Shanmugam, who is fighting in uh, Lotus symbol, is going to win with 50,000 votes. That is the, you know, that even if you Combine DMK, ADMK votes, AC Sanmogam comes up. Nainar Nagendran is on a bright, brighter, brighter side. Similarly, Annamalai. Now, what they do in Coimbatore, DMK and ADMK have come together to defeat Annamalai. What come, what may. Even if DMK or ADMK wins with 3,000 votes, 2,000 votes, let us defeat Annamalai. He should not be a chief minister candidate in 2026 in Tamil Nadu. That is the fear they took the Karakams. With that, what will happen, you know, Mr. Ayer? Three options are open. One, if DMK returns to power with a huge majority and Congress drops down below the DMK's number in all the all India level, many ADMK leaders will switch over to DMK. So, Veda Party Pioneer his party will face crisis. Suppose if DMK is defeated and ADMK is forming uh, a formidable uh, opposition in Tamil Nadu in 2024 Lok Sabha elections, for example, if 10 Lok Sabha seats are won by Mr. Yenapati Payanisamy, then you can see the reverse side of uh, you know, defections. DMK men will join ADMK, thereby DMK and ADMK will crash themselves. Now they may be having a unity talks. After some time, Threat of anomaly for 2026 will ensure that defections galore in Tamil Nadu politics. So, therefore, another one year is going to be interesting for Tamil Nadu politics and relatives, son, son-in-law, daughter, daughter-in-law, Marman, Marman, Marmachi. What is that? Sir? Marman in English. I don't have that type of. Marmahal. Marmahal. These are all such new ideas. They may face problems. And Narendra Modi, there is a proverb in Tamil, Yane Pohunda Vida, a bull in the Chinese shop. What is that, sir? Some type of bull in the China come. shop. Right, ah, right, right. Finished. So Narendra Modi's aggression in Tamil Nadu will ensure one collapse of DMK in 2024 and in 2026 the other DMK. So therefore, 2026 and 2031 are brighter for non DMK government in Tamil Nadu, sir. Very good, sir. Let's go to the next slide, please. Three confidants of Raga are missing. Kamal Nath, Sachin Pilot and Adir Ranjan Chaudhary. What happened to them, sir? No, they are very dull, sir. Which are, uh, kya hai Rahul Gandhi bolte ja rahe. And if you remember, these three are very close to one industrial group, sir. 
and that industrial group want that three will walk out after 2024 if congress is reduced to uh, 25 in lok sabha below the uh, dmk number and the trinamool number then you can very easily say the migratory bird as mr mk stalin said narendra modi is migratory bird to tamil nadu these three old uh, vultures will go move out of congress next one please BJP could uh -huh. face a challenge in five Haryana and six Rajasthan seats. Survey. So, upki bar 400 par may not happen? Sir, so, it will happen, sir. But this uh, over enthusiasm of uh, certain workers. Now, if you notice, sir, we have to give a balanced view to P Guru viewers, sir. We are not for BJP, we are not for Congress, we are for not for Modi or Rahul or anything. We guru viewers should understand what the real politics in Tamil Nadu or, or in all India level is. BJP internal survey says the peak of eight states, uh, you know, they attained the saturation point. Now, Haryana, major crisis. If Ms. Narendra Modi, Namisha, Nadda team is not going to set the house in Haryana and Rajasthan, you are in for a danger in 2024, sir. We must explain to the viewers, BJP could face a challenge in Haryana and Rajasthan because these two states where Congress is also weak, Congress is collapsing in Rajasthan, but the internal fight in BJP like Karnataka. So Karnataka should not be repeated in Haryana and Rajasthan. It is a worrisome. A survey has a, a, thrown up this type of statistics and BJP leadership is aware of it, but we must ensure P Guru viewers should know that what is happening in the top BJP mindset, we will not be so much of enthusiasm. The workers, even candidates, get lethargic. Modito has Charsopar Vajayaga. So that slogan is now slowly, you know, what they say, Apki Bar Modi Sarkar. They don't say Apki Bar Charso Ki Par. Things are not that good in BJP also, sir. We must tell them. The exact uh, happenings in uh, Haryana and Rajasthan. Thank you, sir. Next one, please. Rajnath Singh predicts Congress will be extinct like the dinosaurs. We can go to the yeah. next one, sir. We are kind of we kind of know because a lot of things to cover here. Uh, Prasar Bharti had planned to run the March 29 interaction between PM Modi and Bill Gates on Doordarshan. Election Commission denies permission. Why, sir? This is why is that related to this? It's a, it's a model code of conduct. You can't bring in a foreigner or something. Any, some the new concept they've created. That is why Narendra Modi called that game changers, the sort of game developers to his home and had an interaction. If model code I of think. conduct is to come into Narendra Modi talking to Bill Gates is to be a the election campaign issue, they say it's a campaign. They want to be very fair. Election commission, those three of them are two. Rajiv Kumar is a pro-Congress, anti-BJP. The other two election commissioners are pro-BJP. They were all close to Mr. Amit Shah. Still, they denied permission. It's a talk in the bureaucracy, which we will scoop it and tell the viewers of the gurus that Prasad Bharati wants to project itself as a neutral agency. Very good, sir. Next one. New cars hit Indian roads in record numbers last year. Passenger vehicle sales at 4.22 million in financial year 2024, up 8.4%. We talked about this little bit. You, in the first slide, you said about electric vehicles and scooters. Sir, yes, are yes. these new cars EVs, electric vehicles, or not really? Yes, non-petrol, non-diesel, sir. EV, EV, EV. The, the TVS group which uh, Mr. Gopal Srinivasan was indirectly giving me a hint day before yesterday, the chairman of TVS Motors, that they are going to find another view, uh, research and development uh, wing of TVS group. They are innovating a new type of vehicle set. So that will reduce the burden on government exchequer on petrol and also on energy electricity. So this uh, new cars uh, hit Indian roads in record numbers last year, which is a very good sign for prosperity of Indian economy. Next one, please. 
PM Modi says the time is not far for JNK statehood assembly elections. There's opposition to restore Article 370. Sir, he has been campaigning for Jitendra Singh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, as well as for Jugal Kishore uh, Sharma. Um, do you have any idea when statehood might be given to Jammu and Kashmir? Soon after Mr. Narendra Modi forms third time the government, the window which election commission may go for before the onset of winter before the end of uh, summer, say somewhere in August and September, Jammu Kashmir election may be held, sir. That's a scoop for people who are, sir. Thank you, sir. Next one. So, is uh, General V.K. Singh going to uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir as Lieutenant Governor? He's in Tamil Nadu as we speak. Yesterday, I spoke to him, had a, had a conversation. Tirupati Narayanan and uh, Mr. Uh, VK Singh were traveling from Tanjavur to Chennai by road. When I contacted him, he said that he is in Tamil Nadu. I asked him. He said, if Mr. Narendra Modi enters the job, I will do it very effectively. So therefore, there is a you know gap. Uh, that there is a hope, sir. Very well, the, sir. And full of uh, this uh, speculation, General VK Singh will be given a responsible job by Mr. Narendra Modi when he assumes third time the Prime Ministership. Thank you so much, Rajagopalanji. I'm sorry, viewers, we don't have time for questions today. We're already out of time and we've done a lot of topics and we'll be back again next Monday. Thank you so much, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar.